Well, howdy. Welcome to Fish Tales. I ain't gonna be talking about fishing. It's a little bit too late for that. It took forever for the rain to start coming again, and it's got things greened up real good, but now it's time to go hunting. A friend of mine has a place down in Navasota River Bottom, and we went to check it out Thursday evening, and man, the deer were moving everywhere. Probably not gonna shoot a buck this year unless it's a really monster one there's a good buck later in this video but we'll probably let him go in favor of taking a doe for meat since there's so darn many of them we saw probably 20 does and two bucks this year even though it was dry it hasn't been too bad we got rain at the right time and uh, it kept the grass growing and so the deer are in pretty good condition but the uh, ratio's out of whack. There is too many does. We need to do a doe harvest. You know, this time of year is when the hawks start coming down. They migrate in from up north. Some of them stay around all year, but a lot of them come in from up north and hang around all winter until late spring when they all head back up north. But I saw a coyote today. You can't hardly see him, but it was a beautiful animal. Real red colored. See him right there? I missed an opportunity to get a good, clear picture of him. Uh, he was out in front of that brush, and I was goofing around, taking a pee, when I'll be taking pictures. But you can see that's a red coyote. Just a really beautiful animal. And then we came on the way back up. We we're going to practice our sight in our guns, and saw this nice little... <laughs> He's barely a four-point. Uh, he, he may even be a legal shooter because he doesn't have a pronounced point on one side. And the antler regulations allow you to take a deer that has no points on one side, an unbranched antler. So he's real close. Probably let him go, though, since he's so young. And it is a young deer. He'll get better. He'll have a good rack next year. Big boys coming up. Stay tuned. They're definitely rutting. <laughs> That's what he's looking at. Two does over there in that field. He was up on the edge of the hill looking over to that field and chasing does. Then we saw this old boy. Look close. He stood there statue still. Let me get some good video of him. A couple of good photographs. Not quite as good as that video though. That's a good deer. That's a shooter. Watch this as I keep track on him. I did a pretty good job videoing him. <laughs> I, I just st uh, stayed focused on the rack. <laughs> Pay real close attention to when he meets up with those other deer. The one that's right in front of him is another buck. I think it's that little fork horn. They are definitely rutting. Watch how that first buck puts his nose up into that deer, into that doe. See how the head goes down and stayed down a little bit? He's tracking that doe. They're chasing that doe. That big buck is favoring that back leg. He's, he's been wounded. That's that one we saw earlier. Oh, I don't know. That there's a shooter. He's an eight. He'd be a shooter. Oh, he's limping bad. Probably been fighting. That deer better be glad I ain't out for him. <laughs> we got the rifle sighted in and I'd have put that deer on the ground in a second. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.